Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about a major update I have dropped to my camera mod. Uh, for those who don't know, a couple of months ago I released a camera perspective mod for Signals. This mod adds a first person and third person over the shoulder camera mode, as well as a DMC camera angle to Signals, allowing you to view the game in a whole new light. Since the mod's original release, I've been working on updates. In today's video, I'll be covering the newest update to CPM, update 1.4, which adds greater camera control, as well as return to default. I'll also cover how this was made possible due to changes made in 1.3, and how those changes plus this could mean it would be possible in the future to add further features like aiming down sights. So, with no more delay, let's get right into this. So, what do I mean by greater camera control? Well, gone are the days of the rigid stuck camera that CPM previously offered. So, it's now possible to look left, right, up, and down using the arrow keys if one wishes to do so. This has long been an issue that CPM couldn't reconcile due to previous technical issues the mod struggled with. However, with these being in the past due to me improving as a programmer, the gateway of possibility has opened. Also, because movement is still tank-based, if you'd like to recenter your camera, the space key can do it for you, returning you to the direction you were originally facing, allowing you to undo all of your edits that you did with the keypad instantly. The camera rotation is also type-safe, meaning it shouldn't cause any lag like previous versions of CPM had the possibility of doing. The second thing I added was the ability to return to the default camera angle using the minus key on the keyboard. Now, if you just want to quickly switch to FPS to check something out, then play the game as normal, or vice versa, you can do so. Technical jargon aside, the beauty of this update isn't going to come from my explanations. Rather, I'd like to just demonstrate some key rooms where old CPM lacked the ability to handle, but now you can get the full experience.
Hopefully you enjoyed my demonstration and enjoy this new update to CPM. So, time to talk about my plans moving forward. As I said in the intro, now that CPM doesn't have any runtime errors thanks to 1.3, it is possible to gain far more control than just this update, which is exactly what I intend on doing moving forward. Primarily, I have two goals in mind. Goal 1, using the new Restore Camera feature, begin debugging cutscenes. With how the mod works currently, because cutscenes render a custom version of Ellie, the mod kind of enters a weird state during cutscenes. If I can start to log all the cutscenes and have the default or even modified cam activate during these, I think it would be a massive step towards making a full game playthrough smooth and clean, and possibly even making these cutscenes in first person. Goal 2, aim down sights and greater gun control. As it is, gunfights and aiming is quite clunky in CPM. This is due to the weakness of the lock-on system that, while great normal camera, doesn't really thrive here. I'd like to have gun control be bound to the arrow keys, and I will see what I can do about implementing that in future updates. For now, that's all I've got. This has been Christopher Beast, and I hope that you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time.